Today I wanted to review the Jurassic World website, which is just a really, really cool website. Um, it's obviously for the upcoming movie um, due to be released this weekend. And basically what they did is made a website for the theme park, pretending like it's an actual theme park. Uh, and it, it'd be a really cool website for a real theme park. Um, you got like a uh, kind of control panel on the left here. You got a bunch of information, park capacity, current weather. Um, they have a countdown timer to supposedly when their new um, attraction is going to be released, which is kind of the main plot of the movie. But obviously in reality, this is for the movie coming out. Um, you can buy tickets and it will actually bring you to where, um, if you click that button, it will just bring you to a um, new screen to actually buy the tickets. Um, so I'm able to show you that here. Um, but yeah, let's, let's delve into some of the stuff on the site here. Obviously you've got the full size, um, video back here that kind of shows some different things in the park. Presumably these are actually clips from the movie, but looks really cool. Um, got the menu that can be shown or hidden uh, and it kind of folds away. It's pretty cool. Um, let's go to the park map. Looks like a real, looks like a real theme park. Um, they've got the full map here. You can go to different, um, different things they have here. They even have sponsors. Um, this is probably just a really real ad, but Still kind of cool that it's there, I guess. Um, you can just learn about different things that are in there. Um, and then actually one of the coolest things that I've found is they have this uh, park cam, which supposedly is a live feed of the um, different places from the park. So you can just click there and supposedly this is a video of, you know, the park goings ons here. <laughs> can look around at different things. It looks like a real feed. These obviously do loop eventually, but you gotta watch a while and it's pretty cool either way. And um, one thing that I thought was kind of fun, um, so there's some continuity between some of these. So they paid a lot of attention to details. So like for example, um, you see you got like a janitor or something here, um, kind of mopping up outside. When you go to um, one of the further ones, I think it's the restaurant. Yep, you can actually see that same kind of maintenance worker back here mopping up. So it actually will stay consistent between all of them, which is really awesome. Um, so that's just, that's just one cool feature. You can go to dinosaurs. You can see all the different attractions they've got. Um, learn more about each one. And obviously it's a really cool, just kind of attractive page. Um, and this is responsive. So it'll adjust all screen sizes, including mobile, um, as well as bigger screens. And it'll just look great on all of those. And you got a cool size chart here that will show how all the different dinosaurs they have there um, kind of match up. Some of this almost doesn't seem quite accurate, but maybe it is. <laughs> like if that guy's 60 feet long, you'd think he'd be a lot bigger than this 35 foot dinosaur, but apparently not. Um, yeah, look really cool there. Again, you can click on each one. Um, it kind of keeps you going. You know, good user interface. You get the information you want. You can view it as you go down. And then, of course, at the end, you probably want to see another dinosaur. So there it is again. Um, and Indominus Rex, I believe, is the one from the movie. They're kind of keeping it secret. They don't want to show exactly what he looks like yet. Because that's kind of the allure of the movie. Um, aggression index is very high. So he's very, very aggressive, evidently. And so they just showed the enclosure here without actually showing what he looks like. Anyway, so you can go through all the dinosaurs there. Um, they've got a news feed, so they can um, show a bunch of stuff in here. I don't know how many of these are like 100% real or not. That's kind of part of the fun. Um, they've got a merch shop. They got an online store here. And I assume all these you can actually buy. T-shirts, of course, and um, I think I saw the result actually of Lego. Oh, I don't know why that's not working now, but pretty sure there actually is a, a Lego set that is based on based on this. So anyway, that's cool too. Um, Creation Lab, you can they kind of show you how where everything came from how they were managed, managed to pull all this off. Um, so there's lots of cool stuff. And then another fun thing too is 
If you click this Masrani, you'll actually go to the corporate website of a fake company that supposedly runs this park and did all the building and all the engineering and stuff on the dinosaurs. And it's really elaborate. Um, there's like a blog in there where they're like tracking the progress of everything. Um, and it looks like an actual full corporate website. So I'd recommend checking that out too. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just recommend checking out the site as a whole because it just looks, it's really cool looking. Um, that's kind of fun there. You see this one actually moves forward as you don't even know how they did that. <laughs> um, just a really cool website to check out. So definitely recommend taking a look at it and hopefully seeing the movie this weekend. Hopefully it will be uh, pretty good. I know I'm excited about that. Jurassic Park 1 was a uh, incredible film. <laughs> so I'm hoping this will be the uh, third greatest dinosaur movie behind Jurassic Park 1 and of course Land Before Time. But that uh, remains to be seen.